Okay, we continue again from there. We continue to the actual installation or mounting of the water heater and the use of the tools and materials that I've showed you. Now, for plumbing trade, it is very important when you are doing an installation because mostly you are given a house plan or an area that you have to install. It's good for you to do a small sketch for what you are going to install. And when you are doing the work, you can refer to the small sketch. I have done one here. If you look at me, I have a small sketch. This is for the cylinder and the subsequent pipework and va valves and fittings. This will make you, your work easier instead of trying to remember where is the elbow, where is this, what way. It makes life easier, very easy for you. Always remember to observe safety. That's why I got this set of stairs so that I don't fall. So put your sketch somewhere at the side here where you can refer. It will help you to do your work easily and without any mental torture. From there now, you come and ask yourself, where do I start to do my installation? So I have this surface from this corner to this corner here. I have this surface. This is the area I've been given to do the installation. So what is the logic thing? The logic thing is the location, locating your cylinder. What are the factors that you consider? You must consider that when you are working on the cylinder, you must need room this way and room this way and the room in front. That will allow your manipulation and movement around the cylinder. For that reason, it only becomes necessary for you to, 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 send, I mean, to position your cylinder at the middle, the middle of the area you are working on. So for me, I'll use this middle as my datum, my reference point for my cylinder. Then I'll take the dimensions of my cylinder. Here. So there I go, 457. Then you come here, and you have already seen 457. Therefore, if this is my dithum, it means I'll take 250 as one line, the diameter of the cylinder. Then for my pipework, I have to, to allow the pipework to move, to be located outside the cylinder itself. So I first locate the position of the cylinder. 450 divided by 2 is 225. Then at this point, I must draw a level for locating the cylinder. Where does my cylinder? My cylinder should not go above the wall. I should, I should leave some allowance. So I'll fix it as high as possible, but not outside the wall. So I'll leave a distance of about 150 mm. So I use my datum. Yeah. Then I'll draw a line. Then I'll turn this on the other side. Still using my datum there as my reference point. Again, there we go. So that is the maximum level of the rim of the cylinder. Then from there, 
This, the reason why I've left this space is because you can see from the fixing bracket there is a similar distance. And I want my system to be at the re same level with the wall. So I must provide for this position of the fixing bolt, a uh, supporting bolt. Then from there I'll ask myself, what is the distance that I should fix my support apart? So this time I go for the small ruler. You can see it is the, the whole bracket is 30 centimeters. So that a centimeter means from the middle to the end is 15 centimeters. From the middle to the other end is also 15 centimeters. But I cannot fix these ones at the very end. They should be at the middle there so that the road, when the tank is full, can be transmitted evenly on the hanging bolt. So I'll measure from the datum 10 and 10. So that, that's where I'll fix my support bolt. So there you go. So there I am. I have located the center of my bolt. To be able to get the other distances, you start by hanging the cylinder. Then the other distances and length of pipes will come automatically. So from this stage, I now drill the hole and fix my hanging bolts or support bolts and then hang the cylinder. Then I will do the necessary pipe work after the cylinder is in position. So I have my power supply here. I have my drill bit. I have my drilling machine. I choose because my, my plastic plugs are these ones for the bolt, supporting bolt. You can see they are 12 millimeters in diameter, both of them. So I'll get a drill of the same, a little bit of the same, so that they can enter in. And then I'll fix my bolt. I, I'll drive the plastic plugs inside with a hammer. I force them. And as you can see, they are split both sides, which means they are adjustable. They can open up or close so that it, they can allow the accommodation of the bolt. The bolt will be screwed not in the wood, but inside this. This goes to the wood, and then the bolt comes into this one, the support bolt. So I have, I have chosen my drill. This is my, I want to fix, you can see, I have fixed my drill bit. There. And then to make sure that it's totally tight, I have this, the key, the tightening key. So make sure that you t t tighten it completely without, so that it doesn't have any risk of com coming out. Because if it comes out, I'll be the first victim. And it can cause serious injury and damage. Then, uh, here I can drill without climbing onto a ladder. As you can he see here, on standby, I have a ladder. So if the distance was higher, I would have used the ladder to go up. That is the normal practice and standard practice. You don't use any other uh, equipment that are not designed for climbing on higher levels. You use a standard ladder, which has properly been tested. So since this is not too high, I'll use my own height and then I'll do it. Number two, when you are drilling, make sure that your hole, your drill is at right angle to where you want to drill, not at a lower angle or a bigger angle. It should be at 90 so that you drill and when you come to fix, even your bolt is level. So there we go. 
Then I'll drill the second one. There we are, we are done with the holes. And then, to avoid any accident, disconnect the tool from the power. Then I have my plastic plugs, which I drill in. I mean, I push fit and force inside. There. Yeah. I need a hammer. This is a rubber mallet, which is used to drive the plastic plugs. So I'll drive the plastic plugs. So you can see, they are, they are fresh with the wall. If it was a concrete wall, the process is the same. There is no difference between a wooden wall and a concrete wall. From there now is to fix the support bolts. So here they are. These are the bolts that will carry the tank. And it, also, it is always advisable not to overcrowd your workplace with the tools. So you put them aside. So here we go. These are my bolts. There. You need to tighten them so that they become firm. So you look for a tool. You can either use an adjust adjustable spanner or a pipe wrench, or even a pliers if you have. So there we go. So you must leave some space for your brackets to enter. So we also tighten it like the other one. Then I think that is good. That is home. They've been driven home. And my next stage is that on site, sometimes you need a helper. Because some tools and equipment that we have, or hardware in plumbing, are very heavy. I'm going to request for an assistance to lift the cylinder, put it in position, and then I can continue with the rest. We'll